Welcome back to the number one home improvement YouTube channel in the entire world. Today, I do a little bit of trim carpentry as well as some painting of the trim work that I'll be installing. You'll also get to see how the drywall finished up, the texture, how well did it match. Everything I did in this video is very straightforward, very practical for anybody to do. There's nothing high skilled here. I do have a group of viewers. They are professional carpenters, master carpenters like myself, but they're out of work and they, they like to watch my YouTube videos from their grandmother's basement. They often tell me how I do things wrong in the comment section. You should go check those out. They are very funny. For you guys, I also have another video for you. It's in the description. It's a, uh, a much different door install for some expert drywall instruction. There's another YouTube channel out there that I suggest everybody go watch. Even those guys in their grandmother's basement. It's called Paul Peck Drywalling. I'll drop a link in the description below and maybe even the first pinned comment. Needs one more coat. This is already sucking up the paint super fast compared to over there. So one more coat on at least the um, the textured areas, and it'll be ready to paint this entire wall. Alrighty, it is same day. It's almost one o'clock in the morning, and I'm supposed to be painting this uh, the door. And I have no idea what happened. This is crazy. Um, this is my interior white semi-gloss. It was fully sealed up. Is there a date on this? Okay, it's from May 30th. It was not that old. Eh? What made this four-month-old paint do this? What in the heck? I thought it was going to be paint tonight. That's that. See you in the morning. Mm. Man, does that look good? The right mixture is what it takes. Thinned out with just a little bit of water, mixed up. That was a nice coat. Nice coat. Now we just need to heat this place up. I gotta do two coats on each side. And then I gotta, gotta do two coats of this. Phone call. Who else is calling me? Hello. Some of you might be wondering why I chose to mask off the hinges rather than just take the three screws out and remove this side of the hinge. Now that's because this door is not made of wood. All these hollow core doors, these six panel doors are made of a, of a fiber board. It's not even really an MDF. And you can only put these screws in and out so many times, that's not very many, might be twice, before that hole is wallered out and it will never take a screw again, it'll be stripped out. Simply mask it off, and I don't have to worry about this door coming loose and ripping off the hinges after it being opened and closed five or six times. Keep these cats out. All right, where are the hinge pins? No more cats. 
Here we go. All right, let's put some trim on this and we will be done. For those curious, 18 gauge nails. do it all those holes have to be filled and paint painted nail gun appendix carry <laughs> lots of nail holes to caulk that's why I say don't go overboard you got to go back and caulk them all and paint after all the caulking's done it's got to get caulked to the wall all the way around all the seams got to get caulked then you got to go back around and paint that doesn't take long it's the caulking that's kind of tedious the key is a tiny tip puts the caulk on real smooth real fast real easy <laughs> seems like every month or two they come up with some new design on paint cans so now they've got to twist off little lid little lid here on the bare premium plus line of paint so i'm just going back through i'm hitting my fingerprints the caulking this will probably be about it this is some perfect texture they already can't believe it and it's still not even painted one color yet they just can't believe it you call a professional you get professional results see here i'm looking through the viewfinder here's a kind of a close-up keep in mind this has one coat of primer on it i'm in the shade this side's got better lighting over here Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I said, you can't really tell anything. This is the existing wall. Yeah. Another thing I suggest when you're trying to match texture is use a heavy nap roller, like a three quarter inch nap roller. And it puts a little even stipple on everything. It does a little bit more blending. So that's the end of this video series on these doorways. I think you get an idea of all the work that's involved. I just showed you one. There's one over there I still got to put together too. So when someone asked, $1,500 handyman? Uh, you can clearly see now that it is much, much, much more than $1,500 to build this doorway and install these pre-hung doors. I think the materials worked out to be just under $400 for both doors, the, the wood framing, the trim, the paint, the primer, the nails, everything. If you want to know how much I charged for this, and they keep in mind it's both of them, you'll have to go over to the Handyman Business YouTube channel. That's where we discuss money, strategies of making money, customer expectations. That is the most important thing to be successful in this business is to always know what they are. Have them written down. If you don't have a good relationship with your customer, those expectations must be written down as a scope of work. And you must complete that scope of work and then some. At least one step past what the scope is and what their expectations are. This house got lots more work to do. I'm redoing all the baseboard in the basement, base in the basement. Uh, I've got to do some work on this drop ceiling here. Uh, so you're going to have to hit the subscribe button and the bell. Come back in a few weeks. I'll have some more video of this place up. And you can see what it looks like as we progress through the basement. Goodbye.